What we're going to be talking about today is some options for MATLAB programming that we can use if we have several options that we want to present the user with. So for example, let's say that we want to have the user do some calculations either for volume or for area, we can actually build this into the program. The first concept that we can use to do that is, is, is if, else, if. So this slide, this PowerPoint slide, is just showing you the syntax for that. So we would ask the user, what item do you want to do? And if they select an item one, and you'll notice that there's equals equals here, showing that it has to be one, you can do this operation or display. You can do calculations, whatever you need there. The option, if two is selected, is another operation or another display. If they type in a three, they can get another operation or another display. Now, with this case, it's always a good idea to have an else statement. That way, if they type in something else besides the one, two, or three, you have some sort of an error statement print out, and then you end that particular sequence. Now, instead of using if, else, if, we could also use something called switch case. The syntax for that is shown here in this slide. Here, we're asking the users, what do they want to do? And we name the, the item, we're putting that into a switch. Case one is if the, they reply one, they're gonna do this operation or display. Case two, if they type in a two, they're gonna do this operation or display. Case three, if they type in that, they'll get this operation or that display. And then we have also, because we wanna allow for the user to type in something different, if they do, we have to put in this otherwise for this error statement. And then we end that particular sequence. So what I've done is I've put together some uh, programs in MATLAB that you can actually see these running. So this first program I put together is um, just calculating some, some shapes. So I entitled it E, I, E, if, else, if, shapes. So what we're going to do is we're going to run this program and you can actually see how this works. So this program is going to allow the area or volume of some basic shapes to be calculated. If you would like to calculate area, enter one. If you would like to calculate volume, enter two. So I'm going to go ahead and hit one. And then it's asking me, would I like to calculate the area for the circle, enter one? Or would I like to calculate the area for a rectangle, enter two? I'm going to go ahead and put in, um, I'll say enter two. Now it's asking for the width, I'm going to say 10. It's asking for the height, I'm going to say four, and it calculates the area of my rectangle, okay? So that is one particular item. So I'm gonna clear my screen and we're gonna run this again. So you can see me running it um, for the other choice. Okay, so here I'm gonna calculate volume, I'll enter two. What would you like to calculate a cylinder? one or two and in this case i'm going to go ahead and say the box and it's going to ask for my dimensions i'm going to type in some dimensions and i'll go ahead and calculate the volume for my box and i'm going to clear my screen we're going to try running a case where there is no number available so if else if shapes now, would I like to calculate area or would I like to calculate volume? Let's say I just enter in a four. Let's see what happens. You have not entered an acceptable response. Please run the program. So you can see if you scroll into the program, I've done all of the choices, the major choices for area or volume. My calculations for area are here. My calculations for volume are here. And here's the else statement, which actually is the error, okay? If you have not entered an acceptable response, please run the program, okay? So let's look at the switch case program, and I'm going to clear my screen for this. And this works very similar. You can see the code is slightly different. Now, I kept the switch case here for the larger, um, for the first choice. But inside the smaller choice, whether we come into area or volume, I just kept the if, else, if. 
And that might be nice to use if you want to uh, make sure that you differentiate the two different uh, levels of the program. You could do it that way, but it works basically the same. So I'm going to go ahead and type in SC shapes. I'm going to run in uh, one to calculate my area of my circle, hit one. My diameter of the circle, I'll say three, and it calculates my area for me. Now, just to show you uh, again how it does work the same way, if I type in um, a four, or let's say I'll type in a five, it'll kick me to the error statement. So this is a really good um, example of showing you how you can combine switch case and if else if, or if you want to just stick with if else if, you may do that as well.